Hey guys, we are here at Icon Park in Orlando. This is a tourist area, but we're gonna check it out. They have a bunch of restaurants, and we're gonna definitely try the restaurants. There's like a 7D theater, an arcade, aquarium. There's a Madame Tussauds wax museum. So during the day is very family oriented, and then at night there's a bunch of bars. There's a hookah lounge. Yeah, there's a few restaurants that have live music, like Tin Roof, Old Red, like Sheldon's restaurant. Um, there's another place that has karaoke. So definitely a place to check out at night. Yeah. I'd be excited to come back at night and see how their nightlife is like. I don't know if the slingshot ride is actually part of the park. That would be kind of cool. How can I forget? This place also has a really big Ferris wheel. It's called the wheel. <laughs> We're gonna try to get on that today. barbecue restaurant. We just ordered a combo platter with three meats, a side, and cornbread. We chose ribs, brisket, and roast shrimp. Roast shrimp. Yep. And for the side, we did mac and cheese. And it's That's only okay. $34. So, yeah, it's like we made our little sample platter for us, you know? Like, yeah, hopefully man. it's not too much food though, because we are definitely going to be trying other places here. <laughs> here are the ribs, ribs. the grilled shrimp, Cornbread, it comes with some pickles too, yes. Mac and and mac and cheese. And there's our brisket. Oh, I was like, wasn't there another meat? Yeah, and yeah. our brisket. And then we got these awesome sauces. Yes, tell us about the sauces. This one's a little sweet, uh, mild kick to it, you know, a little spice, but not much, very mild. And this here, the Chipotle BBQ. I think it's kind of like the original, but it's just got a little more zing to it, a little more spice. Spicy, yeah. And that's it. And then I would just, you know, this is just a vinegar based. I, I probably would not use this personally. It's vinegar yeah. based. It doesn't look that thick, you know, very watery, but you know, I don't know. I'm not going to try it. So Yeah, we tried them all while waiting for the yeah, we food. Tasted and it, we yeah. liked the I original that, and the chipotle. If we could mix it. If we it. mix the yeah. Carolina with the chipotle, that's yeah. perfect for me. That Spicy, might be good. just a little bit sweet and um, a little acidic bit from the vinegar. All right, look at you, yeah. Okay, so what do we start with first? I'm gonna go with the shrimp. Let's Here's just shrimp. try these grilled okay. shrimp. All right, cheers. cheers. They look good. Oh wow. Definitely mm. a lot of flavor. A lot of seasonings on that, so there's a lot happening. Mm. Definitely pretty salty. It is salty. Next we have the ribs. Is there a smoke ring on here, honey? Um, that is something. Very, very. It's very light. light. Like I don't really see a I lot of pink. I only see like a little bit. Yep. So for those of you that are very knowledgeable about, you know, smoked ribs. There is not a huge ring in this. I'd say on the outer there is a little bit. Just a little. Outer rim, yep. Kind of looks a little bit dry. Okay. All right. So we got the dry rub. Oh. The server said it was a little bit spicy. I think it definitely needs sauce. So I am, I am in the sauce department. Like I, I got two bottles right now ready to go. <laughs> do you want some sauce on it or just on the side? On it. All right. So we're gonna do. This is a spicy. You good with that? I know you like the spice. Yep. So do they a little vinegar on it? A little vinegar. How's that? Probably good enough. That's good. I will say. I mean, it could be a little bit juicier, but it has really good spices on that. I like it's flavorful. That. It's flavorful. It comes right off not, the bone. It's, it's not, not like you got to salty compared yeah. to the shrimp. The shrimp yeah, looks the shrimp, like salty. Oh my gosh. Now yeah. you eat this and it's like, oh, it's really not. Like, There's no salt. There's like no salt. Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not salty. Spices. Or spicy. Yep. But you add this wet rub, you get plenty of sodium in there. How's that? Mm. Did that so help much it? better. Yeah. Wow. Wow. 
I mean, it does come off the bone really easy. It does. It's tender. I mean, it's tender. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. I definitely would go this route again. Get the dry with the extra spices. Yeah. And then just add the sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That barbecue sauce is spicy. I like it. I want the milder one. Did you? Yeah, <laughs> I did. I don't have the spice tolerance. You thought it was too spicy? For me, yeah. You know me. I'm always sweating bullets. You be eating spicy papaya salad? Telling me it's too spicy for me? <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's probably not. But I just... Uh, I it just, almost needs a little bit of sweetness. Can I get some original too? Yeah. Oh, let's get over your plate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pour it on the... You wrap. There we go. Yeah. I think if you mix all three of them together, it's a perfect combination. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. That one has a nice sweetness. It's a little sweeter. It's not too sweet, too. Right. I like that. Okay, so let's try let's the try cornbread. bread. Oh, okay. oh, brisket? Yeah, let's do that. They look kind of dry. They do. Alright, here's the brisket. Yeah, they do. They look really dry. Kinda do see the smoke ring though. We might need barbecue sauce for that. It, it's dry, right? It is a little. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what it tastes like? Like it roast like beef. Or like beef jerky. Beef jerky? I get a beef jerky flavor. Okay, I can see that. It tastes oh. like beef jerky to me. It's dry though, guys. Aww. Yeah, it's dry. That's sad. That always so disappointing. Yeah. Mm, I mean, meat is meant to be just so perfectly cooked with the fat and... I don't really like cornbread. I'm not a big fan, but some have been better than others. Some places are dry. <laughs> It's not that sweet. So not that's overly good. sweet. But oh, it's yes. dry. So that's why you got the butter. I like it moist. I like it moist without having to add fat to it. <laughs> I have had I very moist cornbread. Yeah, I did too. You can eat it if you want. No, I, I want to try mac and cheese. Bite, but I want to try this mac and cheese too. I'll get mine. It looks like it's got some breading in it. It looks like there's breadcrumbs on top. It's so, all ready. So this is definitely not baked mac and cheese. I like it. Mmm. I like it. It's not bad. It kind of tastes like um. Velveeta. I was gonna say Velveeta. Yep. Yeah. It does. It totally does taste Rather like Velveeta mac and cheese. Cheese sauce is so thick. It is very thick. Yep. It's like. It's very. Yeah. Not as sharp as Velveeta though, right? No, not as sharp. Like a mild shatter. Mild. Yeah. It has um, Velveeta vibes. <laughs> oh. not, a, not a fan of that. Try the barbecue sauce on the shrimp. I just never heard that combo. What do you think? I think it's good. All right, fine. I think it tastes better with it. It might. You've been it right before. It helps with the saltiness. Get that sweet barbecue sauce on there. Kind of pull some of the saltiness away. Oh, it looks like it's going to rain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Clouds are angry today. What was your we favorite? We didn't eat any pickled stuff. Your, your favorite's going to be the pickle, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I actually, I think the ribs were my be the best for me. The ribs, I agree. The ribs are the best. Yep. It's like the burnt part of the brisket. Try that. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I like that. Yeah, I have a lot of seasoning. So we were just talking to one of the owners and she's so nice. So she actually gave us... Complimentary banana pudding. What is it? Pudding. She actually gave us, yeah, complimentary banana pudding. Yeah. So sweet. So like, now, look at that, guys. We were trying to save all those calories and <laughs> not be full, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, we're just going to have to have a balding stomach today. That's all. This oh looks my gosh, delicious. So look at this. This is what I this is what I'm talking about. So she has banana on top. 
she has vanilla wafers here. But if you notice, she's got ban bananas here layered in between. Yeah. And vanilla wafer wafers here, crumbled, yeah. oh my That's gosh, awesome. all across. So we're gonna get in every bite I think a this piece is, of banana. This shows a really good shot and here. And vanilla wafers. This is a genius. Yeah. No wonder it's a good. No, I mean, that no wonder so people good. love all it. Right, all right, let's try. Let's try. All right. I can talk about this forever. Not yeah, genius. This is. <laughs> it's genius. This is just the pudding itself. I don't have a wafer or nothing. Oh, you don't We're gonna try that. Okay. Right? Mm. All right. Mm. Now I'm gonna get some banana. I got banana in mine. I actually really love banana pudding. I, I do too. I mean, you could definitely like split this between a couple people. For sure. Ready? <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Ah! Oh, you got a whole vanilla wafer. That's good. I like the fresh banana in there. That is delicious. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh yeah. Get with the texture of the vanilla wafer. Oh, I like yeah. that. That's delicious. And it's not too sweet. <laughs> it is. The ultimate Asian compliment. Because you're expecting yeah, a lot more sweetness. Mm. That's usually why I'm not a dessert person. Like, I only really like Asian desserts because they're, they're not mild. that sweet. Everybody yeah. else, their desserts are way too sweet. Yeah, I agree. I can't eat it. Yep. And they make you fat, so. <laughs> <laughs> But I love Asian desserts. This is actually really, really good. I love it. The oh pudding itself, mm. very mild banana flavor. But then you get the fresh banana and then the texture of the vanilla wafer. Great combo. We just left Brother Jimmy's BBQ. And all right, I will say service tops the food. Like the, the owner, we met the owner and she's so cool. Shout out to Carissa. But I will say, I just I was a little disappointed on the food. The brisket was dry, the ribs were okay, the barbecue sauces were really good. Yeah. The grilled shrimp was decent, still not the best ever, but the banana pudding was fire. Oh, phenomenal. The dessert yes. was the best part of the whole thing. And we got it for free, like yeah. what? And she was super cool. She was yeah. so freaking cool. Oh well, yeah, really so we good. got well, only three things though. So it's, other things could be better. Could be better, right, yeah. So. I mean, we'll when she was that. talking about them smoked wings, though, they did sound really good. We're going to walk this off for a little bit <laughs> before we go <laughs> to our next place. Look, guys, they have the twisted potato, the tornado potato. Yeah, we'll have to come back and get it when we're not full. Ooh. Look at that. I want one. Can we get one later, babe? Yes, of course. <laughs> Anything you want. They have the Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. Um, we're not gonna go here today. My boyfriend's been here before and he actually didn't like it. <laughs> we're gonna start a series where we go to celebrity chef restaurants and I'll come back and try Gordon Ramsay for that series. We are here at Shake Shack. We're here to try the Shack Stack Burger. My boyfriend has not ever tried this Never before. Had this. So there is a fried portobello mushroom. There's cheese inside. Lettuce, tomato. There is a shack sauce, I think they call it. And there's, it's kind of glued together with the cheese, but then yeah. there's one cheeseburger patty. We asked for a single just because we'll be eating a bunch of things today. I don't know how to cut this thing. Plastic was not made for this burger. <laughs> Only metal can cut through. It actually worked. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make it look good, but I don't know if I did good. Oh my gosh, let's take oh, a look at this. Yeah. yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh. That looks so fire. The ooze cheese. Did it did it focus? Yep, it did. Okay. That's the ooze cheese size. <laughs> you you could try it. You want I should take a bite first. That's a smaller side, so I should get that. Side. Cheers. Cheers. Look, that cheese pole. Mm. Wow. Very cheesy. That's good cheese, mm. though. I All love right. that soft bun. 
Yeah, you can you can really taste that mushroom too. Mm hmm I mean, so if you like mushroom, you're gonna taste it. It's crunchy. Uh-huh. Yeah, the portobello is really strong. That's the but fried in a mushroom. Good way. Crunch. Uh-huh. Uh, crunch the breading, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. no. I mean, no. Not a bad burger. I mean, it's definitely different. I think I should have got him a classic cheeseburger, though. Just so you can... Check out the cheeseburger? Just the cheeseburger, yeah. yeah. But no, I'm glad I tried this. It's good. It does look... It did look good. I mean... I mean, the meat... I mean, you don't really need a juicy patty because, I mean, you got the you got the tomato, you got the shack sauce, you got the mushroom that's, you know, all of it's got a lot of moisture in it. Yeah, I think there's so much cheese too that like, even if the patty, the patty is a little bit dry, but no. with everything going on, you can't really tell. It's actually, it seems pretty juicy though, because that bun is soaked in juice. It is soaked in juice, yeah. yeah. It tastes more mushroom than burger patty. Me too. Yeah. But if you had a double patty, then it probably, probably tastes the whole burger. Mm. I just didn't want to overdo it with all the food today. Well, I, I think it would have been agree. better as a double patty. Yeah, I think it would be better. Mm -hmm. Mine Thank had you. a lot of cheese. Like yeah, how wanted... Do you want a bite of that without yeah. with less cheese? Let me try yeah. the, the super cheese. Yeah, this one. This half has way more burger in my half. Mm. Oh yeah, there's a lot Yours of cheese. Yours is better. I, yeah, I taste mostly cheese on this. I think I'd try more here. You would try more here? Yeah, I would. It's good, it's, right? It looks good. Yeah. And I mean, it's got a bunch of shakes, you know, right? Bunch of shakes. I mean, I love they shakes personally. They have hot dogs too, if you guys like hot dogs. Yeah, I mean, I don't usually go out for hot dogs personally, either. but you know. I don't either. I do love me a good Chicago dog, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I get it, I get it, but I mean. For yeah, they have shakes, they have like really fun lemonades. They have frozen custard, they make their milkshakes with the, the custard. Yeah. Their frozen custard is really good. I mean, really it good. smells good in here. I yeah. can smell. My only thing about Shake Shack, though, well, the fries are, I don't like the fries. They're crinkle cut fries. Yeah, I don't, nah. They do have this, they have a cheese sauce, so you can do cheese fries. Uh, Still not the best fries, yeah. though. Like, for the amount of food that you get for the prices, though, it's not good. It's expensive it for is. the little amount of food that you get. Yeah, so this was this was twelve over 12 $20. bucks, just this burger. Just for a burger. Yeah, other places you get a whole meal cheaper than that, actually. Well, Five Guys is this expensive. Five Guys is this expensive, but you get more food yes. for that amount yes. of money. Yeah. What do you guys think? Do you guys like Five Guys better than Shake Shack? I mean, price versus what? Like taste versus, you know, is it worth it? For me, in every free every, peanuts at Five Guys. Every category, Five Guys is just better. Like, yeah. you get more burger for a cheaper price, you get better fries, and you get a lot of fries. And, and you do get free peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they do do. They do do. They do do milkshakes. They do, but you know it's, the one across. It's limited, the, but. But you know the one across the street from my place. They don't have milkshakes. Oh, okay. So scratch so not that. All not all, all guys. of them, but some do. I thought. Some do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh no, they do. And I was very upset that the one I live there. <laughs> of course. Does not have milkshakes. It could be good for you though. No, could it is good. Because <laughs> you might be getting one every time you go. Uncle Julio's Mexican restaurant. So for the table, they have chips and salsa. Right. I will try this. It looks delicious. It looks like though. a red salsa. It does look really good. Okay, okay I'm gonna be honest. I don't like it. What don't you like about it? I don't know. It just doesn't. Not good flavor. Yeah, it's just not my kind of flavor. I mean, it's not bad. It's not like I, oh, I can't eat it. It's just yeah, not it's like. it's not bad, but I kind of like the smokiness. There is something in there that I'm not digging as well. Maybe it needs more lime. 
Maybe, I mean, it's not bad. I guess. Maybe there's more like sauces. I think sauces. there's maybe like, I don't know, like cumin in there that I don't, like just too much. I think it needs to be spicier. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, it's not spicy at all. It's one of the spicier dips I've had actually. Are you serious? Yeah. Yo, I used to go to Mexican restaurants up in Philly and they got, <laughs> their sauce would be hot as so good though. Yeah, the green one was always my favorite compared to the red. Really? There's always just something about green chilies that I just like better. I've never seen like a like them serve a dipping sauce for the tortillas they give you. It's not a dipping sauce, it's salsa. I mean the salsa <laughs> is green. I've never seen a green one yeah. served. Yeah. Usually I always see a red and a green. Really? And I always yeah. like the green better. Am I sheltered or something? You might be. I might be. <laughs> Here are the quesabaria. Quesabaria. So basically Feria in a quesadilla. Corn. Wow, this is a lot with corn tortillas. And yeah. here is the consomme. All right, I'll tell you. Oh yeah, uh, open it up for us. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that looks good. Oh, it looks it looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it's all promising. about the consomme, though. I'll tell you right now, if this is worth it or not. You gotta really dip a. Right. Oh. Let's just say it's no butteria taco. No butteria taco. No. no taco. It's like stale. It seems like almost, but I don't know. The tortillas stale. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, and it's spicy. It's like stale, yeah. Well, that's yeah. a little disappointing, guys. It's, it's kind of disappointing. The only thing I would say is the meat is juicy. Cheese is good, meat's juicy, but they really, really, I mean, that taco, I mean, that's why I like it tacos. The taco shell really makes the crispy, it just makes it, you know? I don't think the corn tortillas are good. Right. I, you know, I've made mine. I made mine with corn tortillas too. Did it taste like that? No, it tasted better. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, right. like, I think you're right. It's, yeah. it's stale. Stale. The tortillas okay. are stale. It has that like chewy but not crispy texture, and yeah. it's it's like hard to it's hard to eat. And I think the meat is not spicy enough. Yeah. It, it's kind of like beef broth, but with not enough chilies on it. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I like, I don't know. Like, it's really disappointing. I had to get to the place in Winter Park. The best ones I ever oh, had. That was awesome. Right in Winter Park. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah that I, was the I one. never, I never brought you there though. Yeah, you did. I thought you did. I went there once. It was that little, little like store? They made the fresh. Did they make the fresh uh, tortillas right there? It's a different spot. Oh, that was a different spot. All right. I didn't know it was a spot near me. You are. I feel hard work picked out. Yeah. Sugar Factory. This is a, a, basically a candy shop that also has alcohol drinks. So apparently this place is really big with celebrities. I'm not entirely sure why, but look at these drinks. This goblet one looks cool. We are so full, so we're not going to get anything like. So they have all these like crazy desserts, like this one. What is this? Oh, like the, uh, kind of like, what, what's that the candy? The fizzy, the, no, not the fizzy. Fizzy? Uh, the sticks. The yeah, the pixie sticks. Pixie sticks, sticks. That's Yeah, right. so you can like build your own. That's pixie stick overload. Yeah, though. so you can, <laughs> there's all these different flavors. Kind of cool. look pretty good. They have a legit bar here. That is so cool. Should I get 
homie pizza, yeah. It's just, gonna be just like a couple. Weird. Greedy gems. So guys, I like gummies. <laughs> Oh, they smell really good. Oh, they do. They're so pretty. I'm mm. just kidding a little bit. <laughs> oh, should I get a gummy, a killer shark? Just yes. one? Yes. If it's gummy, you should yeah. get it. Yeah. Look. You got one? Yeah. <laughs> you got one big I'm one? I'm not trying to go crazy here. I never seen her so happy. I know. Like going little, through gummy like bears. Like a little kid. Little What's kid. this? Energy filled gummy bears. What oh, that that's mean? exactly the gummy. Yeah. They oh, there's stuff they inside. Mean sugar. Probably. <laughs> Energy filled with sugar. <laughs> sugar. Sugar high. Hold on. Let's Look, see. There's stuff up here too. Oh yeah. You know, do they have the banana runs? Those are the best ones. Strawberry banana. Look at that. Ooh, I used to love this watermelon gumballs right here, guys. Oh, I remember those. I could pop one of those in my mouth after the next. <laughs> it's because you know, you know, it only tastes like sugar for like five seconds, yeah. so you gotta pop another one in. Yeah. I think I want jelly beans. Ooh, assorted jelly beans. There's tutti frutti. Classic cock uh, cocktail classic. A tutti frutti looking pretty goody. Peach. Oh, these are interesting. Gives you the toots. <laughs> Cream soda and peach. That sounds good. Cream soda? I, I think peach sounds better than cream soda. Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a few peaches. Yeah, tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Good. Tutti frutti is good. That's the key. Pull it a little bit. <laughs> Not a lot comes out. Not a lot. Yeah. All right, let's see this. All right, all right. So, so what's the price prediction on this? Oh man, how much per pound is it? Oh, anyway, what well, we don't know. We're just gonna say I'm gonna what guess is these little candy gonna cost? Five dollars. Nope. Ten dollars. I'm going with ten. I hope not ten dollars. <laughs> you're gonna. You're probably gonna be right. Oh, you were right.